You've likely heard from the experts that you need to niche down, but let's be honest, oftentimes that is much easier said than done. In fact, it can be downright scary to pick one area and to narrow your focus. You might be worried about potentially choosing the wrong niche, or perhaps you're worried that you'll get bored. Worse yet, you might be worried that you're going to miss out by limiting yourself when in actuality, you love helping everyone. Well, I got to share with you, you're definitely not alone because these questions keep a lot of health and wellness professionals up at night too. And in full transparency, I too struggled with this in my early days of running my own nutrition practice. But here is a little secret. Finding your niche in the area of health and nutrition coaching isn't about limiting your reach. It is about enhancing your impact. And I know it can feel a little bit counterintuitive, but instead of targeting anyone and everyone with a beating heart and a wallet, as I like to say, it's really about connecting with the right clients, those who need your specific expertise and those that will truly benefit from your services. So are you ready to dive into the world of niches and discover how it can transform your nutrition coaching practice? Well, let's Let's go ahead and get started. Hey there, I'm Leslie Vitell, and I've been teaching, mentoring, and coaching health and wellness professionals for over a decade now. With a background as a registered dietitian and an MBA in global business, I've dedicated my career to helping professionals just like you to grow their private practices and to create multiple streams of revenue. In fact, I have walked in your shoes. I faced many of the same challenges and found ways to thrive. And now I'm here to share those insights with you. So whether you're just starting out or looking to take your practice to that next level, you are definitely in the right place. So let's go ahead and dive in and explore how Finding your niche can be a game changer for your coaching practice. All right, so let's start at the beginning. What exactly is nutrition and health coaching? Well, as a health and nutrition coach, of course, you're not just providing diet plans or nutritional advice. You're actually offering a comprehensive approach to health, helping your clients to understand that intricate relationship between nutrition, lifestyle, and their own well being, right? So you are their guide, you're their motivator, as well as their support system, helping them to make sustainable changes that can transform their lives. And of course, the impact of this work is profound, right? It's not just about helping someone to manage a condition or improve their dietary habits, although those are, of course, important aspects of what we do. It's also about empowering your clients to take control of their own health, to make informed decisions that enhance their own quality of life. And that is a very powerful thing. Now, I'd love to hear from you. I am really curious to know if you're already a health and nutrition coach, if you're an RD, nutritionist, what drew you into this field? And if you're just starting out, what are you most excited about? Leave me a comment below and let me know what you're, you know, where you are in your journey. Now, you may be wondering why is finding a niche so incredibly important? Well, think of it this way. If you're trying to attract everyone, the reality is you'll end up connecting with no one. And the reason is your message will become very diluted and generic, and it just won't land powerfully if it lacks that specificity of a strong niche. So by focusing on a specific niche, you can in fact tailor your messages, your services, and your approach to resonate with that specific group of people that you want to serve. And this not only makes your marketing more effective, but it also allows you to provide more personalized and impactful coaching. And here's a fact that underscores the power of niching down. According to an article on entrepreneur.com, businesses that specialize in a niche market are 228% more likely to be successful than those that offer generalized services. And that, my friend, is the power of a targeted niche. 
But remember, finding your niche isn't about excluding people. It's about focusing your energy where you can make the biggest impact. It's about becoming that go-to expert for a specific group of people who need your unique skill sets as well as your expertise. So have you thought about your niche? What group of people do you feel most passionate about helping? Now let's talk about the idea of having multiple niches or multiple ideal clients. Believe it or not, it might sound a little bit counterintuitive, but sometimes having more than one niche can ultimately diversify and actually strengthen your coaching business. But here's the key. <laughs> Do not try to tackle multiple niches all at one time, especially if you're just starting out. You see, when you're building your private practice, it's essential to start with a single niche because this allows you to focus your efforts, hone your expertise, and truly understand the needs and challenges of your ideal clients. So once you've established yourself in one niche, then you can consider expanding into others. And this approach allows you to grow your business really quite organically without spreading yourself too thin. And that really is the key. Now, once you've gained significant traction in your chosen niche, you can either expand your current service offerings to another target market by maybe adding a subspecialty or perhaps a secondary niche. I'd love to share a little bit about my own journey with finding a niche. You see, I have found that the more I narrow my own focus for each of my programs in my online business, honestly, the more profitable it becomes. And this isn't really about my coaching skills. It is about having a clear vision of who I am serving and what outcomes I am actually helping these people to achieve. Every one of my programs is designed with a specific person in mind, as well as a specific overarching goal. And honestly, this isn't just my own experience because experts across the board agree that niching down significantly improves your bottom line. And I've seen this principle hold true time and time again. So by narrowing down who you want to help and why you can pinpoint your own profitable and health and nutrition niche. But let's be clear, this isn't about using clever marketing tricks. Instead, it's about being crystal clear on who you want to serve and how you want to help them. When you have that level of clarity, your prospective clients can see that you are the perfect solution to their health and wellness challenges. So I encourage you to take some time to really think about your niche. Who do you want to serve? How do you want to help them? Your answers to these questions could actually be the key to unlocking that next level of success in your coaching practice. Choosing the right niche for your coaching business might seem like a big decision, but honestly, it's one that can be made a lot easier with the right approach. So I want to share some practical tips to help guide you in the process. Number one, identify your passion. Your niche should be something that you're genuinely fired up about. This passion will shine through your work and attract clients who share the same interests. Number two, understand your ideal client. Who is it that you want to serve? What are their challenges, their goals, as well as their aspirations? And the more you understand your ideal client, the better you can tailor your services to meet their needs. Number three, evaluate the market. Is there enough demand for your niche? Are there enough potential clients who will need your services? Does your target market understand that they have a problem and are they willing to invest in themselves to solve the problem? So a bit of market research really can go a long way in ensuring the viability of your niche. Number four, consider your unique skills and expertise. So what skills and expertise can you bring to your niche? Perhaps you have a background in a specific area of health and wellness, or maybe you have a personal experience in overcoming a particular challenge. And these unique aspects really can set you apart in your niche. Number five, start small and then expand. As I mentioned earlier, it's best to start with one niche and then consider expanding as your business grows. So essentially you wanna be a big fish in a small pond because your 
better able to position yourself as the go-to expert in your area of expertise. And this allows you to focus your efforts so you don't feel like you have to know everything under the sun. And again, it serves to help establish you as the expert in one area before branching out. And remember, choosing a niche is not about limiting your potential. It's about focusing your efforts where you can make the most impact. And it's about finding that sweet spot where your passion, skills, and market need intersect. And when you find that sweet spot, that is where the magic happens. So what's your niche going to be? I'd love to hear from you in the comments. So drop me a line and let me know. Now let's talk about some common pitfalls that often happen when choosing a niche. So avoiding these mega mistakes can really help save you a lot of time and energy. So mistake number one, trying to serve everyone. Of course, one of the biggest mistakes health coaches and nutritionists make is trying to serve everyone. Remember, if you're speaking to everyone, you're honestly not really speaking effectively to anyone. So it's important to have a clear idea of who your ideal client is and tailor your services to meet their specific needs. Number two, ignoring your passion. Another common mistake is choosing a niche based solely on market demand with really out considering your interests as well as your passion. So remember, your passion for your niche is what will drive you to go that extra mile with your clients. It's what will set you apart from other coaches and professionals in your particular area. Mistake number three, not doing market research. Lastly, it is a mistake to jump into a niche without doing the proper research. So you do need to understand the demands of your services, the competition in your niche, and the specific needs and challenges, of course, for your ideal client. Avoiding these mistakes can help you to choose a niche that not only aligns with your passion and expertise, but also has a strong market demand. And remember, the goal is to find where the sweet spot is between your passion, skills, and market need, okay? So, all right, so let's quickly recap what we've covered in this video so far. We've talked about how health and wellness nutrition coaching is all about helping clients to achieve their health and wellness goals by providing guidance, support, and expertise. We talked about the importance of finding a niche and how it can really help you to focus your efforts, attract those right fit clients and to ultimately grow your business. We explored the concept of having multiple niches or ideal clients and how eventually it can really work in your favor to diversify and strengthen your practice. I shared my own personal experience with finding a niche and how it helped me to really grow enormously, just leaps and bounds in my online business. And we went over some practical tips on choosing the right niche, including identifying your passion, understanding your ideal client, evaluating the market, considering your unique skills, and starting small. Start small and expand. Then we discussed the common mistakes that coaches and professionals often make when choosing their niche and how to avoid avoid these mega mistakes. Remember, finding your niche, honestly, it's a journey. It really is about discovering your passion, your skills, and a market need intersect. And when you find that sweet spot, that is where you can truly make a difference in the lives of your clients. All right, folks, that's it for today's video. But remember, we've really only scratched the surface here. So for more detailed information and a deeper dive into each of these topics, I want to invite you to check out the blog post linked in the description box below. And if you found this video helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you'd share it with your fellow health and wellness professionals. Remember, we rise by lifting others and sharing this information can make a big difference in someone else's journey. Journey. So I thank you for that level of support. Also, if possible, please leave a comment below because I genuinely want to hear your thoughts, want to hear your questions, your experiences, and your insights add so much value to our community. Speaking of community, if you're a health and wellness professional growing your private practice, I invite you to join our private Facebook community called Multiple Streams of Income. This is a supportive space where we share resources, experiences, and insight to help each other grow. 
I happen to release new content every Tuesday and host a live show every Thursday on YouTube called Live with Leslie, where we discuss all things related to growing a successful health and wellness practice. So if you've enjoyed today's video, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of my future business building content. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you in the next video.